Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Erin, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, welcome to episode 22. It's going to be a quick little update. Yep. For July. It's been pretty hot lately. Yep. Not fun. It's like 95 out right now, 110 feel. Yeah, we've been inside most of the day, but you got some stuff done today. Yep, just playing in the shed a little bit until I found the wasp nest and then uh, decided to come in and do something else. Yep. <laughs> so you're wiring to put the rabbits in there. Yep, we're running outlets. We have, we're going to put three, three outlets on the inside, one outlet on the outside, and then you'll finally have power out back for lights. Yep. Put some lights on the patio or something, yeah. Yeah. And uh, maybe run the uh, chicken heater a little bit different. Instead of going across by the swing set. Yeah. We can just come right off of that and go into the the chickens. Yeah, I always think the kids are going to hit it with their foot or something. Yeah, we mark it off pretty good, though. Yeah. Um, The meat birds are -hmm. getting old. Yes, Older. and stinky. And stinky and ugly and, yeah. Um, we got like a month left still on them. Yep. So it'll be a long month. Yep. But you did the, you drug them out the other day. Yes. So they're not big enough to go into the metal tractor yet that we have. So they're still in their little baby yeah, play, like the play area set. thing. Yeah. And so we pulled them out on the tarp and then I kind of walked them off the tarp yeah. into the grass so then we can just kind of empty the tarp off because it's a pain. I mean, even when you, like, rake out the shavings, it still yeah. smells like chicken. Yeah, I mean, you really got to do it whatever you the other day, yeah. every yeah. three days. So I think they enjoyed being, you know, out not in the garage. Yeah, they got some fresh grass. Yeah. So. The only problem is kind of around the garage, we have to be careful where we put them because we have a lot of... Uh, sun right there. Yeah. At least on the patio. Once you get yeah. a little bit further out, it was pretty, shades. It was pretty easy to move them down, though. Yeah. Once you get them on the tarp, it's real easy to see. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're still about a month out, so we'll be doing that a lot more times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once you get them in that rolly metal cage, it'll be a little bit easier to yeah. Roll them out of the way. Yeah, if we can get different wheels or something like you were saying. Yeah, it's just I'll hard to. Into that. You gotta come out of our garage and then turn, like. Yeah. I don't know, seventy-five degrees or no, something. It's it's an, it's a, like a ninety-degree turn yeah. basically, um, but I'm wondering if we could go around um, in between the neighbors, in between the two garages. Yeah. We just if that would be a little bit easier. Garbage cans and stuff. Out yeah. Of the way. I mean, my car won't be here. I yeah. can always park a little bit further out during the day. Yeah. Or when I get home. So we'll play with it. Yep, at least we, this year we don't have to hide them. Right. So <laughs> we, we, we can legally, legally have them, that. yes. <laughs> so, uh, not that, you know. Yeah, we were a little illegal the first time. Oh, that's don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. yeah. It didn't bother anybody. Yeah. So the, it's the allowed versus able. Yeah. Yeah. Um,. So the garden is producing well. Mm-hmm. Um, we have lots of zucchinis. All the tomato flowers, or all the tomato plants have flowers. The kale is going really good. Um, still only one lonely bean plant. Mm-hmm. Um, I replanted that like three times with different kinds of beans. Ones I've soaked. Ones that are, I don't think I've tried pole beans, but... I don't know. They're just not coming up. I don't yeah, know why. I don't I've either. I heard a lot of people say that their beans are not coming up and other other vegetables. My carrots are really small. They're not coming up. Even the ones I did plant that are up but are small are not coming up yeah. at all either. So it's kind of a weird year. Although I was talking to somebody who said, when is it not a weird year? So Yeah, I mean, it's... It varies year to year. You can have an awesome year, one year bumper crop. Next year, you get nothing. Yeah. And that's kind of how it seems this year. Yeah. We're getting stuff finally, but it was was a while. Yeah, it was very, very slow. So we're supposed to be getting some severe storms tonight, so hopefully it doesn't get all, you know, destroyed from hail and 
yeah high winds and stuff so yeah they're already clocking 100 mile an hour yeah. winds out in uh iowa so that storm is headed our way should be here uh later tonight yeah so so hopefully i'm just gonna not think about it tonight yep. and then see what it, it looks like tomorrow yep we got fuel if we need to pull the generator out we'll pull the generator out to save the plants no oh. we need power oh yeah i got the solar system downstairs yeah. too so. <sighs> so yeah it's always something Mm-hmm. it'll be fun though yep so the kids were gone this weekend, mm -hmm. so we went out and did some ham radio. Yeah, we went out and played Parks on the Air for a little bit. We went over to uh, Shabana State Lake Park, or Shabana Lake State Park, which is about 25 minutes from mm -hmm. us. Um, and then you and I both got on and tried calling CQ, and we made a couple contacts. Yeah, it was something. I mean, it's practice. Yeah, every day to get out and play radio is practice. Yeah. And then we got one really cool one, so we got the uh, guy that does the parachute mobile. Yeah. We got him on the hand, uh, the HTs, the handy talkies. Yeah. Uh, sitting there at the park, so we can count that as a, uh, you know, contact at the park. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun, though. I mean, it was a nice day. Yeah. Got to see, uh, we go over here and see the field of sunflowers that they do there. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that the place that you and another operator went to last week yeah. it was in the same spot that we go and see the sunflowers so at least we got to see yeah how they're doing exactly and they're you said they're a little bit small still but they're i mean they're big but not yeah. not ready for sure yeah. but we'll so, go back and see so yeah it was uh last week i went out with a friend of ours and did parks on the air and we made 60 contacts on 20 meters yeah which included the northwest territories Belgium, Spain, uh, Dominican Republic, East Coast, s West Coast, you know, mi Midwest, all over the country. Yeah. Uh, and then we also got a guy up in Alaska, which is pretty hard to get. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of contacts, but we were playing on a different band than when you and I went out. Yeah. So I need to start studying again. Yeah. I get your general and then we can go play. Yep, I tried doing it today, and I realized quickly why I stepped away. Yeah. Because I just, I don't know, the stuff just does not make sense, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it can be a little dry sometimes, but once you get it, it'll be fun. Yep. So. I did it before. Yeah. So it'll happen. Yep. Um, so, I we've always drank coffee. And I've never become like a coffee snob, but I think I am now. Because before we were going to Self-Reliance Festival, I was planning on bringing the French press mm -hmm. that we've had for years. Yeah. So I practiced that, you know, for the whole week before, just so that when we were down there, I kind of knew, you know, what to do. And I still made mm -hmm. it strong. But I've been drinking that now, cold press, mm -hmm. and, you know, with the hot water, like regular yeah. coffee. And this weekend, you were home, and you yeah. hadn't been drinking coffee, so I, I, I just make, you know, small right. batches. And so we used the coffee pot, and I don't think I even finished what I had, because it just, it was amazing how different it tasted yeah. I mean, in the I, coffee pot. I, I said, I, we're, we're sitting at the island, and we're talking about what we're going to do, and we're just like, well, let's go play some Parks on the Air, so... We're sitting there both drinking coffee, so I sucked mine down really quick and yeah. then loaded the truck up. Yeah, but I mean, then today, it's, I mean, it was amazing how different it was yeah. doing it in the French press versus the yeah. the coffee pot. So I don't drink a lot of coffee in the summer. I know. I still, I mean, I've been doing it, um, I don't know who gave me the idea if it was Brian from the Lots Project or Brian from uh, Scrambling yeah, or even I, Josh from Liberty Meets. It was somebody that in those groups that you know talked about doing the cold brew yeah where i put the um coffee grounds in the french press pour it with our you know berkey water yeah and throw it in the fridge for 24 hours and then have it the next morning and it is amazing how smooth and it's not bitter it's almost sweet yeah it's 
I don't know. I never really thought that much about coffee, and yeah, now it's really good. Worth a shot. Yeah. Maybe I have to, maybe we have to get a second French press so I can get some. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot. That's yeah. That's the only thing. So maybe we'll have to do that and then figure out the grind. Yes, I do need to do a a bigger ground because it does get a little grainy. Yeah. Because of the powder, the yeah. powdery ones. It's it's pretty standard. Yeah. You have to do a pretty coarse grind yeah. for French presses. So I got to figure that out. But it's not horrible. No. No. So let's put that on the next Amazon list as a, another French press. Yeah. Maybe I'll start drinking a little more coffee. Yeah. I mean, I, the it's having the cold brew is completely different than having cooled hot coffee. Yeah. Because even when I, how I used to make, I mean, I used the um, reusable ice cubes. Mm-hmm. So it, it still doesn't water it down, but even making hot coffee, throwing ice cubes and my creamer in it. Yeah. It still isn't the same as yeah. doing the cold brew overnight. Yeah. So that's a kind of that. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we were having an event this weekend. Mm-hmm. We were going to do our own barter blanket, you know, come meet yep, people through out, our, our local hands. our local group that we started and we canceled it there was only one person that even posted that they were coming yeah um a couple people that had said um that they were thinking of coming that and then were disappointed that it was canceled but there's just something going on and i know if you guys listen to any of the same people that we listen to everybody yeah. Is feeling whatever it is that's going on right now. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to put your finger on it. And I know you and I have both have had our general problems with the world. Yeah. The past couple of weeks, but... Yeah, I mean, talking to people, it's kind of like everybody thought that when summer hit, it was going to be, mm-hmm. okay, summer's here, yay! And it's not. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a just a hot winter right now where... I don't know, just don't feel yeah, I like mean, it, it, it mingling. wasn't this bad you know with you know, a year and a half ago. Yeah. It's just something weird about it, what's I, going on. If it's right residual now. like just the past few years, you yeah. know, with all the stuff going on, that all of a sudden it's like shouldn't we be better by now? <laughs> like I don't know, just it's it's hard to figure out what's going on because it's like you want to be around people but at the same time you don't want to be around people yeah. and and I, I think a lot of it is also disappointments are starting to come to head yeah and it's just things aren't working out and people are starting to notice it yeah yeah and I think the longer you you're in a community the more stuff you see and yeah. hear and it's you know you you join a community and it's like you finally feel like you fit in and then it's like oh mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe this isn't what I thought this is just like every other community out there yeah so. the politics are still there sometimes yeah and the and the clicks mm-hmm. and and the people that you still don't know why they're in the community mm-hmm. but they're like running it yeah yeah. I've, I've noticed that too and it, it's not fun no so I don't know we're just kind of trudging along and yeah, keeping trying. our head above <clears throat> our head above water and yeah we got enough stuff to keep us busy for a while so we'll have some rabbits to process some chickens yeah. to process and then you know it's going to be getting into fall pretty soon I know it'll be here yeah. before you know it yep we are still doing the um, chicken dinner processing event Mm -hmm. so i'm getting an email sent out to all the people that said they were interested so see see what happens yep it's worth a shot yep if not we have a lot of chickens going in our freezer and And that's okay wrong with that yep there's been a little light on the rabbits lately so yeah yeah so yeah the next big thing is going through the freezers and trying to find things i can can or freeze dry Mm -hmm. to make room for we're gonna have at least Six. Six, yeah. six going in. And then if the other ones are, um, I don't want to say sold, but, yeah, you know, 
if the other Kick ones it. go home with somebody, yeah. then yeah, um, that'll that'll work out. But if not, and we end up putting thirteen in the freezer, and then we have seven kits out there if we mm-hmm. don't hold anything back, and then we're gonna be doing a hog pretty soon. Yeah, and, that's it'll be here before we know it. And deer season's coming. Yep. So we need to we need to eat more meat. We do. Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I mean, it, we. We had no kids this weekend. We yeah. had a party yesterday, mm-hmm. and we got ice cream a few nights because oh, yeah. it's like you know what the kids aren't here. We can just sit and eat yep. on the couch, and yep. they're not going to be yelling at us. And we don't need to share. And we don't need to share. <laughs> and so now it's like, oh my god, we ate terrible. Yeah. And so we're trying to do keto mm-hmm. until casserole season comes around, and then oh, no, we'll, we'll <sighs> get we'll survive. <laughs> so tonight was I found I don't know what it even was a leg, a, yeah, a hog a front, leg front or cord. something. We had something in the freezer and a roast, and I'm like, you know what? I'm throwing these in the crock pot. Mm-hmm. Here's a big old plate of meat. That's dinner. Yep. So I sometimes I overthink. Yeah, that was dinner. that was that small pig we did. Yeah, it must have been. So it was good. Yeah, it's I mean, tender. Yeah. So I gotta stop overthinking and just eat what we have. Yeah, eat what we have on hand. You know, if it's a big, big plate of meat. Yep. So be it. Yeah. And that rub was really good. Yeah, from Aldi, of yeah. all places. The barbecue sauce. Yeah, we're trying. Was um, okay. I can't think of what it was called now. Um, but yeah, it's like keto friendly. Yeah, it's, which is never it. Never I keto know. Friendly. I was trying. I was trying. It was on sale, so yeah. it wasn't it's probably super on clearance. Expensive. Probably, <laughs> probably, but that's all right. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, if you're wondering why you're in such a foul mood, you're not alone. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going on. Like every, I don't like either. things, the things that are going right that have always kind of you know been uplifting. Or just kind of, eh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like there's... It's been nice to have a couple of days off from work. I had a four-day weekend. Yeah. And it was nice to just kind of reset. Yeah. Yeah, every so. time the kids are gone, I have these huge plans. And we got a lot of it done. Mm-hmm. But then it's just a lot of chilling out. Yeah. And just sitting and not needing to listen to anybody mm-hmm. or need to get up and do something yeah and just enjoy the yeah the I mean, nothingness <laughs> didn't really play too much ham radio here at the house while they were gone i just played a little bit chasing the there's a 13 colonies event going on right now we have a operator in the original 13 colonies yeah one one for each state and then you have one a special edition special one for it's a whiskey mic three pen uh papa echo november and that's the pennsylvania special station and then there's there's a uk station which is golf bravo 13 col uh, and then you have a france station which is tango mike 13 col so you got to try and get all those guys and i've got a couple but not all of them it's been some weird couple days on the bands, too. Yeah. Real noisy. I'll have to figure out what's going on there. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You're always welcome to email us at info at twochickshomestead.com. Yeah. And just share your thoughts. Yeah. Um, if Let you us like know. us, if you don't like us. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of check in. Drop us an email. We'll chat. Yep. And we'll catch you guys next time. All right. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking.